The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today I'm on the beautiful Hampton Yachts 650. Now, this is a yacht that's designed for the discriminating cruising couple that has been around and knows what they're looking for. Join me as I take a features inspection and identify some of the quality components that have now come to identify the brand. The aft platform comes out 3 feet 8 inches from the transom. There are railings going all the way across the stern and of course each one of these is removable. Now if we were to say have a tender come up alongside and tie up to the transom, 8 inch flip up cleats in the corners plus we pull out any one of these rails, there's a socket that it can go into just ahead of this side. We also have a gate at this section and then we can board from stairs to both port and starboard. There's storage alongside the stairs plus elongated rails. Now at the gate at the top of the stairs, stainless steel frame around glass and notice that there's recessed lighting inside the glass and it's also latched in both the closed and open positions. Well, this will certainly be one of the first gathering areas as we come aboard the Hampton 650. This entire deck is protected overhead by the extended flybridge deck. It's populated with LED lighting, spreader lights, camera, comes all the way out to the side so there's protection right on down to the side decks and fully forward, look at this, a 32 inch flat screen TV. Now just behind we've got a beautiful teak table with a nice finish and look at this nice inlay work. Just underneath is a refrigerator. We can also opt for a pedestal instead of the refrigerator. Either way, I'd like to see this be on rails so that it can slide in and out to make it a little bit easier to get into the bench seating just along the rear. Underneath the seat, we've got courtesy lighting and a convenient power supply. There are also boarding gates to both port and starboard. Now, I like how Hampton Yacht uses all available space. Take a look at this. Here's a convenient storage spot for mops, brooms. It goes eight feet deep. Up at the bow on top of the trunk cabin, take a look at this. Two good sized sun pads, elongated rails to both sides, plus stainless steel beverage holders. A couple of things I'd like to see. This could come up into a chaise lounge position. A cabana on top would be a nice feature and also stereo connectivity. To both sides, storage compartments. So now let's take a look at the flying bridge and there are two points of access. One right here in the aft deck and another one just inside. Let's take a look. Well, this is certainly a feature-packed gathering area. Let's take a look, starting with the stern. The boat deck will hold a 13-foot tender. The 1,200-pound lift capacity crane not only swings but extends, so we can launch this tender from the side or across the stern. Just ahead is an outdoor galley with a double burner propane grill, and the propane stores right alongside. Underneath is all storage. Grab rail surrounding counter space. Now just ahead into starboard, we have plenty of open counter space for food service, a sink in the center, storage underneath, and a cockpit refrigerator freezer. Any meals we serve are gonna be enjoyed at this L-shaped seat surrounding a pedestal table that's high-low on a crank, fiberglass table. All of this is surrounded by the protection of polycarbonate curtains and smoked tempered glass all the way around. And of course this entire flybridge deck is protected overhead by this hardtop with hatches up front, speakers, LED lighting, and spreader lights. And of course everybody can enjoy the drop down 32 inch flat screen TV. Now let's take a look at the interior accessed from glass doors just ahead of the aft deck. This first one opens up and then latches into position. And we have a nice entry, but we can do much better. By releasing one latch, we can open the doors triple wide. And now we seamlessly combine the inside with the outside. Beautiful salon area. High overhead, six feet nine inches. And look at these huge windows, which give us great visibility all the way to the horizon, even from the seated position. Now, the furniture is all freestanding, consisting of an L-shaped sofa over to the port hand side, wrapping around a freestanding table, two chairs over on the starboard side, storage credenza that also houses the flat screen TV. Now is a good time to talk about the materials where we have African Macquarie cherry wood, recessed lighting above, LED lighting underneath, 
and designer fabrics both on the overhead and on the bulkheads. The surround sound speakers are mounted into more of the McCory Cherry woodwork and look at this, we've got recessed lighting above the soffits that handle the air conditioning so all of the room cools evenly and no one ends up sitting next to a vent and getting cold air while everyone else is hot. We can also add privacy with Roman shades. Just ahead and to starboard is a bit of a liquor cabinet with two glass doors, counter space and a wine chiller just beneath. Now as we come ahead, three steps up leads us to this raised area where we have the galley over on the port hand side and this is a fully featured galley so let's take a look. It starts with a convection microwave just above, one, two, three, four burner induction cooktop, oven down below and plenty of storage all along. We have Sub-Zero refrigerator and freezer just below and notice the beautiful woodwork and this is another time to point out the materials on this boat, the diamond pattern on the cabinetry, and notice on the corners, the edges, this is all solid stock, and I like how we have an edge coming out and an edge just recessed in so that we aren't gonna catch ourselves as we walk around the corner. The granite countertop is built on an aluminum honeycomb core to save weight, and we've got a raised edge, all leading to a large single basin stainless steel sink with a pull-out sprayer. Down below we have additional storage, a washer, trash compactor, more storage drawers, and we also have storage just across. These storage cabinets all have pull-out shelves that are locked for when we're underway and latch for ease of use. And these two cabinets are on both sides of the stairs leading up to the flying bridge. Just ahead we've got more counter space that can be used as a buffet area or as office space where we have a nice desk. Now as we move forward into the raised pilot house, we've got an interesting feature here, forward facing seating at the helm. So now we've got several people that can join at this L-shaped settee behind a solid wood pedestal table. The table expands so even the captain and observer seats can swing around and join at mealtime. There are opening side doors watertight to both port and starboard and the design is set up to accommodate screens. Now the Hampton 650 is a three stateroom, three head motor yacht. Let's take a look at the accommodations. Now as we come down we've got this open air atrium providing plenty of natural light to the lower decks. Beautiful woodwork continues with the African Macquarie cherry and it's all matching grain. Now how is it matching grain throughout the boat? It's all cut from the same tree. Down below we've got marble decking. This is water jet cut with inlaid stainless steel. And notice the beautiful cove molding above. Now as we continue aft, we come to this beautiful master stateroom, full beam with hull side windows to both sides, berth in the middle on the center line. We've got high overhead so it has an open and airy feel to it. And over on the starboard side we've got a desk slash vanity with mirror underneath. To the opposite side there's a settee, now both of these can be swapped out for a chest of drawers or any combination of the three that an owner chooses. Again, back over to the starboard side. Large hanging locker lined with cedar. Another one just ahead. We also have a walk-in closet. The storage continues underneath the berth on both sides and over to the port hand side of the berth, the master head. This head has more of the beautiful Macquarie cherry woodwork Mirrored ceiling overhead, a walk-in shower. The granite counter has a recessed single basin sink. The decking is heated from the diesel hydronic furnace. As we come out of the master stateroom, just alongside, there's a washer and a dryer, along with plenty of storage. Now there are so many things that I like about this yacht, but among them is right into the guest stateroom here, where these typically are a little more than closets crammed into the boat. Not so on the 650, take a look. Inside we have a double wide berth with opening port lights, high ceilings, mirrored bulkheads, those usual details, but as we look forward, there's two steps up to the guest head. Now continuing forward, just to starboard, is the day head. Now this has much the same features as the other heads, including the separate walk-in shower. Plus it's got another entrance to the VIP stateroom. As well as a separate entrance to the main corridor. 
Now, this stateroom seems to have all of the same features of the high overhead, opening hull side windows to both port and starboard, the berth mounted right on the center line with access to both sides, and there's the usual hanging locker to the port hand side. Well, in my opinion, what we have here is a beautifully laid out yacht with quality components, just perfect for a discriminating couple. And that is my full features inspection of the Hampton Yacht 650. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.